Another day and another example of racism from the Labour Party. A while ago, the Labour MP and Shadow Secretary of State for Justice, Richard Bergen, uh, attended the Labour meeting and said that Jewish people and Zionism are the enemy of peace. Jewish people, the enemy of the Palestinian people, are Zionists, and Zionism is the enemy of peace and the enemy of the Palestinian people. And we need to be loud, we need to be proud in support of a free Palestine. I make no apologies. I'm proud to say not only wouldn't I be a member of Labour Friends of Israel, I've never been uh, a, a member of Labour Friends of Israel. And but when he was confronted by Andrew Neil on BBC Daily Politics at the time, he denied saying that and he said he doesn't actually believe in those comments. You told a Labour Party meeting, did you not, in 2016, that Zionism is the enemy of peace? Well, that was an allegation made by the Daily Express. I asked them at which meeting I was meant to have said I think that. It was and the, they I think it was reported in the Daily Mail. The but Daily Mail. But they, did they you couldn't say that? respond to me. I didn't say that, and they couldn't tell me when they believed I had said that. It's not my so, view. So I, you I didn't, believe... You I've, didn't say... I mean, it's important, because you may well be correcting the record here, mm. which is important. You didn't say that? No, and it's not my view. And Zionism is the enemy of peace and the enemy of the Palestinian people. Joan Ryan, though, Labour MP, she's the chair of Friends of Israel. Uh, she wrote to you asking you to clarify the comments. But when you replied to her, you didn't deny that you had made them. Well, I didn't make those uh, comments. I asked when I was meant to have made those comments. No one could tell me. And it's not my view. So if it's not my view, I wouldn't have made those comments. OK, so why didn't it. you just say I didn't, I didn't say it? That. Because I've got your reply here. You didn't deny that you'd said it. Well, I would not have said that because it's not my view. Okay. So you didn't well, say it? Well, you didn't say it. You've said that. Right. Typical response and reaction from uh, anti-Semitic Labour MPs like Jeremy Corbyn, Richard Bergen and almost uh, most of the shadow cabinet at the moment. But the problem we're facing right now is two things. One is actual comments and the content of it and the fact that he lied. Let's focus on the first one for now. His claim that Zionism is the enemy of peace. Uh, first, let's find out what Zionism actually is. According to the dictionary, Zionism is simply a movement for the re-establishment and the development and the protection of a Jewish nation in what is now Israel. As a liberation movement, it simply focuses on the belief that Jewish people should have the same right to national self-determination just like any other race and any other nation. Now, one of the main reasons that modern socialists and uh, a lot of people in the Labour Party these days dislike Jewish people as a group and as a nation is because uh, with everything that uh, the Jewish people have gone through in history, uh, they tend not to play the victim card and uh, they simply want to be independent and have self-determination and to be able to make their own destiny. Uh, usually these days uh, the left have more sympathy towards uh, those groups that want to play the victim card uh, and any group and any, any individual that wants to simply uh, have a say uh, over their own destiny and over their own lives uh, will be labelled as some sort of uh, enemy or some sort of um, greedy, selfish uh, person uh, or group. This is the same reason socialists uh, hate business people and uh, hate anyone who becomes successful in general. And when it comes to Jewish people, they uh, create these conspiracy theories about uh, somehow Israel and Jewish people are running the world uh, secretly. And my view is that if any government or any group of people were that competent or powerful enough to secretly run the world, well, they could just fix all their problems in their own countries. Now, going back to the second part and the fact that he lied about uh, making those comments, this is a response we uh, got from the director of Labour Friends of Israel. Reacting to the latest revelation, uh, the uh, LFI director said that for nearly two years, Richard Bergen has deployed half denials and weasel words to escape responsibility for his appalling suggestion that Zionism is the enemy of peace. Now that we've all seen exactly what he said, it's time for Mr. Bergen to apologize, both for this slur on the Jewish people's right to self-determination and for seemingly misleading the public about it. Now we have to wait and see how Richard Bergen, Jeremy Corbyn and the whole leadership of the Labour Party will respond to this. Uh, a lot of people on the, uh, social media are saying that they're probably going to avoid it as usual. Uh, but I think the best move for them, at least politically, and if not morally, is to somehow apologise uh, and uh, try to actually say that we are changing and we are reforming ourselves, but we don't really have that much hope when it comes to the Labour Party. Thanks again, as usual, for watching. Uh, if you like the content, make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.